close by what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video so here we are more rare tips i made a video a few weeks ago now where i was showing you guys some rare tips and not a lot of people knew and you guys absolutely love that video and wanted to see more so here we are with yet another one there's a lot more tips in this video that I didn't get through some of them are a little bit more well known than the community and a few of them i guarantee you guys didn't know at all because they're very 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 small amount of players that actually know this and use these uh things i'm going to show you so without further ado if you do enjoy the video please feel free to leave a like to show your support and if you want to see more videos like this in the future or you just want to help support me you know go ahead and subscribe that'd be great i do stream over on twitch as well where i do a bunch of giveaways like black dog packs you know ferryman packs all that cool stuff please check me out there if you want to see all the giveaways too anyway i'm not going to let you guys wait any longer let's go ahead and get into the first rare tip rare tip number one so this is true with all boats galleon brig sloop any boat you have in the game even skeleton boats uh honestly any boat you go to this is going to work so to demonstrate what i'm about to show you i'm gonna bring a keg on board so you can really really see the true effects of this absolute madness so you know how on every boat you have these grates right in the uh in the galleon it's over the map table in the brig, it's also over the map table, and in the sloop, it pretty much sits over the wood barrel. So, did you know, you can actually shoot through these. As much as you don't think you can, you really can. And what happens if someone's standing down there, say they want to run away from you and you want to shoot them? Oh no. You killed them. So there you go. You can shoot through the grates in all boats. Of course, don't use a keg, because um, you're going to sink your boat instantly, but, you know, nonetheless useful rare tip one so this one really shouldn't be a rare tip but unfortunately it is now the amount of people that come over to my twitch uh linked in the description if you want to check me out and ask me hey sin how do you know how many boats are on your server and how do you know that the server you're on has people on there you're gonna fight it's really simple and i'm sure most of you guys know this but to those who don't there's emissary tables on each island right where you vote to represent emissaries so if you can see these tiny little boats on there, depending on how many boats are on your uh, on your table, depending on how many boats on your server are doing that emissary. So you see how there's only one boat there, means there's one Athena on the server. But if I put it down, there's now two Athenas on the server. And everyone on every outpost can see that there's now two Athenas on the server. Of course, if you take it off, it drops. Now, if you are specifically looking to either alliance or fight some gold hoarders, let's say, there's someone who's doing a gold hoarder, you now know there's someone else on your server doing a gold hoarder, so you can either, you know, choose to help them or choose to kill them. It's really up to you. Shouldn't be a rare tip. It really shouldn't be a rare tip, but it is. There you go. Another rare tip. So I spoke about this in detail in a previous video. I believe it's how to improve your aim 10 times, the title of the video. You can check it out. It is on my Twitch, uh, not Twitch channel, YouTube channel. There we go. Um, but I'm going to pretty much explain this now for those who didn't see it. So... We know that there's the addition of cannon flares, right? At the moment, this is the, uh, the base cannon with no flare. Not only are the cannon flares, you know, really nice to look at, they also alter how well you can aim, believe it or not. So, as you can see, it's sort of a flashbang of, uh, of all sorts of smoke and cannon fodder there. Or cannon fodder, what's the word? You know the word. Anyway, um, so, for example, let's do the cutthroat flare, right? Not only do they change the color of the actual cannons themselves, they also do allow more visibility. As you can see, there's a lot more visibility there, but I think it really comes through. Like, I mean, really, really comes through when you switch over to the Crimson Crypt Cannon Flare. So the Crimson Crypt Cannon Flare pretty much removes all smoke visible, so you get a direct clear shot. As you can see. So there you go. Cannon flares are just good to look at. They're also quite useful if you do want to improve your naval battles. I made a full video of this on my channel pretty much detailing everything you can do to improve your cannons from a cosmetic standpoint. But hey, use that if you want to. Hopefully that helps some of you. Right, let's just ignore the fact that I'm on the side of a skeleton ship right now. But I want to show you guys something really cool. So... When you are fighting skeleton ships, whether you're in an event like I am right now, like the skeleton ship event, or you're just fighting them randomly on the ocean, did you know that the flags on the skeleton ship actually tell you what their curse pools are? So, for example, this skeleton ship here that's getting rocked by the volcano shoots uh, curse pools that essentially peace pool you. So there you go. I've died now, but... <laughs> 
Use that to your advantage next time you're playing. Hopefully that helps. Did you know you can actually sword lunge the gunpowder barrel out of Skeleton's hands? Now, this clip here is from Mr. Crack Fox, a good friend of mine, a fellow team member of mine, and a person I play with quite often on Twitch. You can actually see right here in his clip, he is sword lunging a keg out of a skeleton's hands. This works, just aim for the ground, or if you're really lucky, you can aim for the sky and you can also get it to work that way too. Hopefully that helps. So that's it. They are all the rare tips I've got for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, again, please feel free to leave a like and show your support. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I appreciate all of you. Check me out on Twitch if you want to see daily streams where I play a bunch of different games, but mainly Sea of Thieves, and I give away a bunch of cool stuff like six packs, cap stands, black dog packs, ferrymans, all that cool stuff as well. Guys, again, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Much love to you all. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Share this video with one of your friends, and I'll give you a crisp i5 and a midnight blunderbuss code. Probably not. But anyway, catch you later.